exclusively with a look at what he is seeing from the consumer, CEO of Nike, John Donahoe. John, it's great to have you back on the show. Welcome. Thanks, Sarah. Great to be here. The last time we spoke was February 2020 at a Nike fashion show. Remember those before the whole world changed. Uh, clearly, Nike weathered COVID-19 better than most. What, what would you say is your biggest takeaway from the last year and a half? Well, I think, Sarah, the importance of having agility and the importance of being able to respond to whatever conditions the world has dealt us. And in our case, we've tried to stay really connected to the consumer over the past 18 months. And we know that the consumer wants to get what they want, when they want it, how they want it. And so our digital advantage has really served us well throughout the pandemic, right? Having the incredible mobile apps we have, the Nike mobile app, sneakers, Nike Run Club, Nike Train Club, when we were all working out at home. And then we've continued our focus on innovation. And just because we're working from home, it has not stopped our innovation. In fact, I'm coming to you here right now from our incredible LeBron James Innovation Building that's just opening. And we've really tried to continue to release innovative product, both footwear and apparel throughout this period. And so our focus has been on serving the consumer and trying to strengthen mm -hmm. our competitive position. It looks like you're on, a, you're on a basketball court there with the balls behind you. John, yeah. uh, to, the point, uh, to the point on e-commerce, I, I mean, clearly you were the right guy for the time with your background at, at ServiceNow and, and Nike Digital was a huge competitive advantage, but there are concerns now about e-commerce growth slowing. After the Amazon quarter, Etsy's down double digits today. Uh, your competitor Adidas also, also saw sales decline there. Are, are you seeing slowing growth in e-commerce as we emerge from the pandemic? No, not, not really at all, Sarah. And, and here's how we think about it, which is through the eyes of the consumer. As I said a minute ago, consumers want to get what they want, when they want it, how they want it. So in almost every case, they start their shopping or their exploration on a mobile device or digitally. And in some cases, they buy it digitally and have it shipped home. Other cases, they may buy it or reserve it digitally and try it on or pick it up in store online to offline. And we have a very strong presence there. And other times they want to go to the store to try it on or to, to browse and explore. And so we gear our entire focus and our entire offense, as we call it here, to being able to serve that consumer regardless of which of those routes they want to go. And that served us very well as retails opened up and closed down, as period of work mm -hmm. from home or come back to work. We've been able to be with the consumer wherever the consumer is and meet their demands how they want to do it on their terms.